compete. We're just getting started. The brutal. Kane of H.D. up comes in for Roby. And it's Richardson in for Jones. The Bulls also changing it up. Andre Drummond comes in for Vucevic. And MP subbed in for Williams. So for Chicago right now, Ball and Levine are the guard set. DeRozan out there with MP. And it's Drummond in at the five spot. Levine passes to Drummond. And it's Drummond with the jam. The agile feet of Drummond. He's like a dancing bear out there. Nice roll off the pick. Now the pass to Richardson. Vassell with it. To the inside. Here's Bates Diop. Off to a good start as he gets his first shot attempt. I'll tell you what, I'm not sure these guys can keep this up. Yeah, both teams in the zone early. Stops have been almost impossible to come by. Here's Santos. Makes it off the glass. And one thing you can say with MP, Greg, and if he belongs on an NBA floor, he certainly passes the eye test. And that's always how MP has been as a player. The, the raw numbers don't jump out at you, but you can see his impact on the floor. H.D. up, the pass to Vassell. Six to shoot, to the paint. H.D. up, misses. This is the shot you want right at the rim. He just couldn't deliver. And one thing to like about Bates Diop is his ability to score from all three areas. Greg, what I like is he's comfortable facing up, and he can put the ball on the floor. He's a strong cutter, and that kind of versatility goes a long way in the NBA. And it just seems that every pass they make is leading to a score. Just great ball movement. Richardson finds Vassell. Shoots over ball. Vassell, no good. I'm not sure the defense affected that shot. That was just a blown gimme. And their offense is really clicking right now. Playing with a lot of energy and really taking it to the defense. DeRozan passes to Santos. Good. And it's DeRozan picking up the assist. MP's got his second bucket of the game to go. Dishes to Richardson. Johnson outside. 15 seconds left here in the first quarter. Here's DeRozan. Again, Chicago. Yeah, they, they have gone full throttle from the opening tip, showing no signs of letting up. Already ahead by double digits. Trying to run away and not look back. And a double-digit. Welcome. First up, let's look at the two guys who were each leading their respective teams through the first half. And in this game, we have two top performers. Kind of like us, guys. Are you baiting us to guessing which two? There's no guessing about it. I'll leave it to the imagination. Shifting our focus, how about DeMar DeRozan tonight? Asserting himself. Man, he's just playing great. That's apparent from the numbers, Kenny. Yeah, very apparent. I mean, efficient scoring from him in the first half, that's helping his team. Listen, when I say a word like apparent, you don't have to repeat it. You're not apparent. Thanks for spending halftime with. And we've got third quarter of basketball for you. Two quarters in the books. A fantastic game from DeMar DeRozan so far. Yeah, it's been a great performance from him. McDermott comes in for Roby, and it's Richardson in for Jones. So Chicago going with an almost entirely new group. Andre Drummond's checked in for Vucevic. MP comes in for DeMar DeRozan. Alex Caruso is checked in for Levine. And it's Dosumu in for Lonzo Ball. 
Taking a look at the Bulls. Andre Drummond is out there with Williams. And it's Alex Caruso. Then there's Dosumu. And it's Santos. And at the three spot. And the basket by Vassell. Devin Vassell with a great feel when to use the mid-range jumper. Such a skill swing, man. Here's Santos driving to the basket. Drummond. And Drummond throws it down. Super work on the boards. Boy, they really want to put their foot down on them now. Yeah, and once you've got them on the ropes, Greg, just keep swinging away. You know why? Because this defense is reeling. They had to stop there but couldn't secure the rebound. They're still looking for answers. Yosunu, the pass to Santos. Drummond sets the screen for MP. It's good again in an excellent seven for eight shooting night so far. They're doing a really good job of getting the ball inside and attacking the paint. That's an area they have completely dominated. We've got 155 left in the third quarter of the game. Richardson gets a wide open look. Nailed from three point land. Richardson's got nine points. Teams nowadays tracking deflections in addition to steals. Were they something you were aware of when you played defense, Greg? And even if they weren't tracked, uh, they were valued. And, and I remember early in my career, that was something with the Knicks that would always emphasize because deflections were a true indicator of activity, especially defensively. They're coming, they're coming, they're coming. Here's Vassell. No good off the back of the rim just a solid performance on the interior. The rebounding has been off the charts. Williams passes to Santos. Drummond trying to get himself free. He feeds it to MP. Good for the basket. Number nine. He's only missed two shots from the floor all night. They should continue to get the ball inside. The defense struggling to contain them. Now, here's Vassell. 14 points for him from Team Johnson. Chicago grabs the miss. Drummond's got nine rebounds in the game, getting it done. And he's been way off the mark this quarter. It's been ugly. And two free throws. With all the content, it's going to be on Doug McGurman. Second team playing class of 2022. He played his entire career in San Antonio. And in 2003, Manu's rookie season, we won a ring together. Looking at who's out there now for the Spurs. Zach Collins checked in for Jen. Gata Bates-Diop comes in for Johnson. And Jones subbed in for Vassell. Beautiful call that time up the floor. The hard screen frees him up for the bunny. MP outside. Fouled in the act of shooting. Gets the bucket anyway. So a three-point play shot. Defensively, they're on their heels every time the ball comes inside. For Chicago, they have been coming through at the charity street. They've made seven of their eight attempts. Richardson outside. Twenty feet out. And he was able to put it up in time, but doesn't fall. And so it's Chicago. An interesting bit of news today about the ongoing Shep Owens MP drama. Nate White of the Daily Horn reports that the Chicago Bulls have requested MP, their controversial 18th pick, participate in a PR initiative to win over skeptical fans. So no word yet on what exactly they have in mind to accomplish this goal, but J.J. Perk what do you think of the notion that MP needs to win over this fan base with off-the-court activities? And here we are. It's more evidence of an organization in disarray. The reason fans booed MP is because he's not as good at basketball as Shep. These are some of the smartest fans in the game. You're not going to win them over with a PR stunt. For once, I agree with you, Perk. Wow. For once. Maybe I should rethink this. <laughs> <laughs> no, seriously, though, I'm, I'm all for getting involved in the community. Every pro athlete should give back. Amen. That's right. But, but if this team thinks MP can make the Shep comparisons go away by being a good guy off the court, 
they're in for a rude awakening. At the end of the day, NBA fans want wins. If MP plays winning basketball, they'll love him. If he doesn't, no amount of PR is going to change their minds. JJ, JJ, for once, you're speaking my language. Thank you. You're welcome. And I'll tell you one more thing. This young man needs to put in work. Leave him alone and let him hoop. Enough is enough already. Uh, we don't know what they asked him to do, so I'm not going to be right. too critical here, but I agree that basketball needs to be his main focus going forward. Preach. If he's going to change this city's mind, he's going to do it with results, not promises. That was refreshingly cordial, fellas. Don't get used to this, man. <laughs> Got it, big perk. Coming up, trade rumors. It's never too soon to speculate. But first, this quick commercial break. MP, you got a minute? Look, man, I've been meaning to... I thought I was clear with you. Basketball comes first. Imagine if hundreds of people could hear us talk. Would you be nervous? Would it be hard to think of what you say next? Hey, John. What's good? I was wondering if I could ask you about Nate White's report that you've been asked to... Hey, uh, I'd just like to clear something up really quickly. Um, all right. That's it for today. See the next time, y'all. Or education or focus. The So, MP comes in for Patrick Williams, and Philadelphia will go for a different look here. On Trez Harrell, he's checked in for MB. Niang comes in for P.J. Tucker. Matisse Thibel checked in for Tobias Harris. And it's DeAnthony Melton in for James Harden. Taking a look at the 76ers. DeAnthony Melton out there with Tyrese Maxey. Then there's Harrell. Then there's Matisse Thibel. And it's Niang in at the four. And there's the bucket from MP. And this team, Greg, drafting MP. I hope he can, can grow into the leader here. It might take some time, but he should, I think, find his way. And those intangibles were a big reason to draft him, Pete. We'll keep an eye on him as he develops and steps into a leadership role for the team. 
And, and once he got to the 10, I, I think he was surprised to find himself that wide open. Easy possessions like that literally are just a gift. You just dream of them. He'll gladly take those. Levine against Melton. And it goes down two points. Levine's got his second bucket tonight. A strong inside scorer. Once Levine feels like he's got room to shoot, he does not hesitate. And some added toughness on the roster. Something Philly knew they needed after last year. Long throw ball. Second person of five. Fourth team. Most losing teams, Greg, are looking to rebuild, look to the future, but not in Chicago. Yeah, their idea to turn it around was to get all-stars. <laughs> Trading for Vooch in 21 during a losing season, then signing DeMar as a free agent. That's a refreshing approach. Santos, the pass to Dosun. MV with a screen on Maxi. Fades away. He clangs that one off the back iron and down it falls. And hitting the mid-range jumper here early gives the defense just another thing to think about. And you don't see many teams take these shots as often anymore. It's nice to see them take advantage in this area. Hope loose. 46 seconds left in the first quarter. Santos. And he hits it to tie the game up. And the and DeRozan has done an amazing job improving his playmaking skills, including finding his open teammates. Harrell setting the pick for Maxi. And Harrell, the bucket on the assist by Maxi. Harrell's got his second basket of the game. And there it is again. On a lot of their possessions this first half, they've established great inside position. Five seconds separating the shot and game clocks. MP picks to DeRozan, and the Bulls tack on two more. He's one of the underappreciated guys in this league. DeRozan just goes out, puts up big numbers, and he doesn't really get the shine that I think he truly deserves. And here's Maxi. Here's Melton. And the last second attempt doesn't fall. It's all to the floor. The Bulls. And this has been a fairly close game to the first quarter, and we'll see what happens here in the second. And before we move on, what do you guys think about what we've seen so far from the Bulls? Just a terrific first quarter, sparked really by their unselfishness. They're focusing on making winning plays. You love to see it. So on the floor for Philadelphia. And on the wings, Harden and Harris. Then it's DeAnthony Melton. Then it's Joel Embiid. And it's Niang in at the force line. And while we've got a moment, let's send it over to our terrific reporter, David Aldridge. David? Thank you, guys. Now, Tobias Harris has been the leading scorer on teams in the NBA. But on the Sixers, he understands his role is different. He says, I'm not a guy who's going to press looks. The ball is going to flow how it flows. And I just got to be ready when the opportunity comes my way. That's what winning basketball is all about. Kevin? David, thank you. Harden scanning the floor. Pass to Harris. Lock at six. Off target from the wing. Well, and that's what you get when you go for style points with the fadeaway, and look, he paid the price. And since Tobias Harris got his big contract with the Sixers, great, some say they chose him over Jimmy Butler. And while Tobias is nice, he's never been an all-star, and that's one of the few downsides to a big payday. Some might say he's overpaid, but I'm sure he'll take the trade off. Here's MB. He's got five. It's over Vucevic. The 76ers with another miss. Second quarter of action, about a minute and a half played. Shoots from 12. And the Bulls tack on two more. And with the ability to step out and make shots, beings like Vucevic have a lot of value in today's NBA. And Reed is at the elbow. AT that time for Vucevic. Well, his shooting is unfortunately not a big thing. And his lackluster accuracy is probably the thing that's keeping them behind. 
back to MP. Rejected by Harris. Look at Harris getting it down on the defensive end. That's a good sign for this team. Here's Nian. And down it goes, jamming that one home. That'll do it for the first half. Welcome, everybody. This game has been all about Zach Levine's impressive play. You don't need to be a genius to know that shooting over 50% is a good thing. You got some big shoulders carrying this offense. Is uh, that why my shoulders are, are so big from carrying this show for so long? Okay, time to discuss the first half of this one. Specifically, which guys are leading the charge for their teams? Oh, man, do I like the competition I'm seeing at the two spot. This is a guards league right now. These guys are going at each other. Each one is trying to do whatever he can to gain the edge in this matchup, and I love it. That is more than enough of us. Let's send you back to the game. Kevin Harlan and crew with the second half. And after a fairly even first couple of quarters, the second half could turn out to be a great one as both teams try to gain an edge. You know, guys, Montrez Harrell has been exceptional here. The 76ers also with a sub. Niang's checked in. To the middle. Here's Harris. Rebound by the Bulls. The defense ready for him on that possession. They had to be because he is so strong in the paint. And about the 76ers, Richard, they've been impressive. Yeah, they've been on a 50-win pace for about the last five seasons. And with Joel Embiid every single year, you are going to be a contender. This is their window. Shooting for Philadelphia. Tyrese Matthew. Two shots. Bean are the guard set. And it's Santos in at the three slot. So that's the five in the game for Chicago. And when people talk about defense, the term boxes and elbows comes up a lot. Great for our audience. Can you explain what that's about? It's a great point, Kevin. And, and listen, the two defenders on what we call the boxes, that's down in the low post there. And you see those two boxes now at the end of the free throw line. And then you have the two defenders on the elbows, and that's the edge of the free throw line. And the idea to close down the paint. To the paint, here's Embiid. Good on the shot. Embiid's got four points now in the quarter. A gifted interior scorer. When Embiid establishes himself down there, he is almost automatic. MP outside. Pass to Williams. Maxi against Ball. Inside. And MP gets it to go on the assist by Ball. Ball's got assist number five here tonight. Two minutes, two minutes. Harden against Levine. Harden the pass to the end. For three, Harris. Levine with the rebound. The Bulls leading by ten. Dishes it to MP. And there's the pass to Vucevic. Passes it to Levine. Side ball, pocket four. That's good, and it's Levine with the assist. And now it's a 12-point Bulls lead. And so Harden will bring it up for the Philadelphia 76ers. At the conclusion of this game, they're off to Washington. They'll face the Wizards, and that will conclude a four-game road trip. Out to Harris. There's the pick from the arc. A shot missing, and the Bulls going the other way. You cannot play worse off. 
offensively, although he's trying, and he hasn't made one shot yet. I feel for him. And it's in there. MP's got the lead up to 14 now for the Bulls. And they're beginning to just flat out fall apart defensively right now, especially on the interior. Maxi passes to Harden. 34 seconds left in the third. Just five on the clock. There's the three. Chicago grabs the miss. MP's got four rebounds now tonight. Levine dishes to Williams. Here's Santos. Uses the glass to finish the way. And 12 points for MP. Just impressed with the teamwork out there. Setting the table for one another. Harden outside. Will it go? Here's MP. And the last shot before the buzzer is off. And the Bulls. We'll get right back to the action. There's 18 seconds left to play in the final quarter. Harden gets the bucket. James it's Harden. crazy. We've gotten used to this effortless dominance from James Harden. He's so I'm coming to the end of my YouTube video right now. So give a thumbs up button if you like the video so much. Click on that bell button to subscribe for more content. And if you saw the recent video interesting, share the comment right below the description so you can share some positive feelings with everybody in the community and make them feel welcome. So. I make a happy Corona 95. You'll have a great day and peace out.